So maybe you're uh, you're looking to stock up your pantry and uh, uh, try to get some goodies in your house just in case you need them because you've been using your stock a little bit. And uh, what I had to do is drive about 30 miles from my house to go to a different Walmart today. And this way here, I could actually get some products. Walmart is just a small Walmart. It says it's quote a super center, but compared to the other one I went to today, um, not even close. So <clears throat> basically sometimes what you got to do is maybe you're going to have to drive if you know you possibly can get what you're looking for that you want to stock up on being whatever it may be. You may have to drive a little bit to get to a store that can actually do that for you. Now, being that I live in Florida, you know, it's a real hot out. So I took the coolers with ice and everything else so I could put the meat and any cold stuff in the coolers and then bring it home that way. Um, I was able, uh, I, which you're, you're going to see in a video, I was able to score my chicken breasts. And the, the best part is I was able to grab the family pack chicken breasts. For $1.99 a pound, I got three packs. They only had 17 in the case because all the Walmarts around me, they don't carry these anymore. They're all the small packs. So that was a score. Uh, in the family pack for $1.99 a pound, uh, the both Walmarts that are up my way up here, neither one of them even sell them anymore. They're not even in the cases. Um, all they have is the small, just regular packs, and those are $3.99 and $4.99 a pound. Whereas, and you can get the family pack that you've been able to get for years for a buck ninety-nine. So I got three packs of those while I was there. They didn't have a limitation on them. Um, there was like 17, 18 packs in there, so I grabbed three. Reason I did that was uh, because it is so far from my house. I don't want to have to go back and I'm going to take and I'm going to vacuum seal those with my vacuum sealer and those things are going to be good for up to a year in my freezer. Not that they're going to last that long, but if push come to shove, they would last up to a year in the freezer being vacuum packed because air can't get to it. It's one of the best investments that you guys out there can make is a vacuum sealer. It has so many different things that it can do and if you're going to spend the money, Get a good one, get the one that has the attachment for the jars um, and everything. Um, you're gonna spend, you can get it at Walmart. I actually, I looked today, they still have it. It's like a buck 29, comes with everything you need and you're good to go. And I buy the bags through Amazon cause you get a four pack for like uh, 17 bucks uh, of the bags itself, the replacement bags. And uh, that'll last you for quite a while unless you're really doing some serious vacuum packing um, that will last you for quite a while so I had to drive about 30 miles from where I live today to go to Walmart because my local Walmart is a small store and it doesn't carry much so stocked up today had to replenish my stock it's been a while picked up some green beans Potatoes. I really like the sliced potatoes. This is in my pantry. And then we came down here and picked up uh, some of the pulled pork and roast beef, chili. Grabbed a couple of hams, some beans. Had to replenish and get uh, some more canned chicken and tuna fish. It's just amazing how you go from one store to the next. So the moral of the story here is you just want to, you know, you may have to drive to get what you need. Um, sometimes if you're in a smaller area or if your stores don't um, 
have what you're looking for and maybe somebody else has reached out to you and say hey I can get this here uh, you may have to take a drive and I would suggest getting there early in the morning that's when I went I went early this morning uh, so you're the first one in there you know you get in there get your stuff and get out you're in and out before the crowds uh, so you don't have to worry about the whole Charlie Victor 19 thing uh, you still have to wear a mask and all that but you know there's not really a lot of people in the store at that time uh, they're all still waking up having their coffee if you get what I'm saying so a good time to go is early in the morning remember that little saying the early bird gets the worm well here we go so um, there is one thing that I cannot find anywhere <clears throat> And that is Lysol in a can that you spray. Now, I did go on um, Lysol.com when I got home today. And would you believe it? They actually had it on their website. So I ordered the Max 4 cans and um, supposed to be delivered next week. And it cost me $10 for shipping. But, you know, I got four cans and then the total was, um, I want to say it was 24 something. You know, you, you're paying out the nose for it. You know, they got you, you know, but if that's, you know, you want the, the, the spray Lysol, because we use it for different things besides the whole Charlie Victor 19. You know, it's great for using it in your showers and, and just all kinds of different things. Um, it's not strictly just for, you know, Charlie Victor 19. Uh, which a lot of people out there probably already knew, um, but that's just how it is. So <clears throat> that's the one big ticket thing that, you know, um, that I haven't been able to find in any stores around me. I've hit everybody from Walmart, Target, uh, Walgreens, um, CVS, Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, all of them, and nobody has nothing when it comes to Lysol spray. Now, I can get the Lysol wipes and all that kind of stuff, yes, but the Lysol spray is doesn't exist. Um, one other thing is the, uh, the, the shelves at this big Walmart, now compared to my little Walmarts up here, uh, the shelves are, are pretty bare. Now, in this big Walmart, you can tell, you know, they must do a lot more uh, sales than anything else so they're probably getting more product than said these other stores are getting which is the way things kind of work and their shelves were stocked pretty good I must say they had quite a few things on the shelf I was able to get some uh, uh, the canned chicken uh, the canned tuna fish I restocked back up on my green beans and veggies and canned potatoes I love the canned potatoes but, um, you know, they, they had a lot of things, whereas in my smaller store, just didn't, they just don't have it, you know. And if you do go in there, they may only have just a few things on the shelf. The shelves are pretty much bare. So it may pay to go to a bigger store, even if you have to drive, say, to another town or, you know, uh, somewhere else to get the products that you do need. So my name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.